I'm Michael Beschloss, author of Presidents of War, and this is what I'm reading. I've been a fan of Ron Chernow for more than 20 years, and I think he's topped even himself with his new book on Ulysses Grant. Even though there have been many books on Grant, Chernow does what he does best. He goes back to the primary sources, he reaches his own new judgments, and renders them in prose that is poetic. So that no matter how much you feel you may have read on Grant, you feel that you are meeting someone captivating and new. Another book I love is Roosevelt, The Lion and the Fox by James McGregor Burns, who was my mentor at Williams College. Jim Burns wrote this book in 1956. It was probably the first big biography of FDR, and Jim was the first to see many of FDR's private papers. What the book shows is a great historian writing on a world-important subject, using fresh new papers, and drawing many conclusions that many of us respect today because Jim's book in 1956 was so good. My book number three is William Manchester's The Death of a President, about the assassination of John Kennedy. Manchester was given exclusive access to Jacqueline Kennedy and members of the Kennedy family to write about that pivotal moment in American history. Before the book was published, he got into a fight with Mrs. Kennedy over how much of that material should be published, but the result is breathtaking. If Manchester had not done those interviews, we would have lost much of that history. And he writes about it with so much emotion that even if you weren't alive in November 1963, you understand very well what it was like to be in the center of those tragic events. Mm -hmm.